Hey there, welcome back. It is a beautiful day. It's about 88 degrees, 90 degrees, but it's only 36% humidity. And that's according to my little backyard weather station, so it's a great day. So, here's the beginning of the quail shed. I just got home from a big box store where I picked up everything, including the shed. Interestingly enough, all this wood and the bricks is just for the foundation. The shed is actually in a little cardboard box right here. I just picked up an inexpensive metal shed. This is gonna be for the quail venture. And we decided to go ahead and just build one cheap because it was easy that way. I don't have enough spare materials anymore to build. Um, another hutch or anything like that then I'm gonna have to build the the cages and things like that but we've decided to go ahead and make an adventure of the quail thing for some reason I've had this fear in the back of my mind uh, about doing this whole venture with quail and and I don't know why and the ELB pointed out to me that it's probably because we don't know anyone who's ever done it she recalled the, the first venture we had with our chickens was because we traded some stuff for them we're gonna try the quail thing in the same way except this time we don't know anyone who's done it before um, lots of people on the internet do it there are a ton of YouTube videos about it and I've watched a bunch of stuff on it gosh I've been talking about it and researching it for about six months and I, I decided you know what time to just do it so I got all the initial investment for the shed and we're just gonna put up a little 8x10 shed and that should be enough We'll eventually run electricity out to it so I have lights and the cages will be out there and the food and all that other kind of stuff will have everything be able to store it in one place. So this adventure starts building the shed. <laughs> so who's the real chicken? She's a great stalker, but she's funny with the chickens. Once they've gotten big enough, she doesn't mess with them. All right, so, just spent the last, I don't know, hour or so maybe. Not too bad out here leveling the blocks. So at this point, I think they're all level, or as level as it needs to be for a quail shed. Um, might be off by maybe a quarter of an inch or less but I'm not too worried about it the levels say they're level so it's gonna be good so these are the main beams it's gonna be 10 feet long 8 feet wide and we'll get the uh, floor put on I'll get the other beams in there and cut and then we'll put the floor on and then we'll start building the shed probably tomorrow get up in the morning and start working on it while it's cool they say it takes a few hours if you do it by yourself so we'll see how long it takes Horse flies on my camera. Anyway, so that's where we are now. The ELB just rang the dinner bell, so I'm headed in for dinner. Blessed with a nice cool morning this morning, and I've already got the boards on. Probably saw that in the time lapse. And well, I've got the flooring on. So I, I put the flooring on. I got it out of the van, put the flooring on. Got the actual shed. That's the whole shed right there in that one little box. And um, so I've got the shed, put that together. But I was going to put linoleum down just to make it easier to keep it clean. And they want it for, for an 8x12 piece of linoleum. They wanted uh, $45. And I was thinking... I just don't want to do that. I have gallons and gallons of extra paint in the shop, leftover paint that I'm just going to put down and I'm going to have fun, make it colorful. And... So the dance floor is installed and I'll let that dry. I'll go do the yard work and then come back to this after it's dry uh, in a few hours and after I get the yard work done and start assembling the shed, get it going. So what do you think so far? It's a blue floor. 
Okay, no dancing. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop open the box. Sorry, restart over because you gotta edit that bit out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pop open the box here and start doing this. I've watched a bunch of videos on this. It's a pretty easy design and a pretty easy shed setup. It's just, um, it's awkward. It's kind of like this box. You could probably pick up this box no problem, but it's 210 pounds, so it's awkward. And so that's why you need help. So we'll see if I need help or not. And if so, I'll call a friend. I've got a friend on standby and uh, we'll see how this goes together. Hopefully it'll go together pretty easy. I mean, I've seen several people do it by themselves, so we'll just go for it. Isn't it always fun when you come across that first issue and you think, ah, bummer. So I've set up the pad eight feet this way and 10 feet this way. And once I got up, because I thought the shed was 10 feet deep, turns out it's only eight feet deep, it's 10 feet wide. So the doors are gonna be over here, which then I thought afterwards, I thought, well, that's okay. Then the doors aren't always looking at my house. And I can come over here and I can open the doors. Chickens and stuff, I can, you know, if I'm in here working, I can look over into the chicken yard. I'll be just looking straight back over into the chicken yard like that, so. I guess as it turns out, it's gonna be okay, but this is going to be the front where the doors are. So that's just how it works out. <laughs> well, got all the sides on. There's one problem. Everything was going together really well except for this one back panel. So when we put it on, it's just a little bit too long. We checked and triple checked, try to figure out what's going on with this panel, but I don't know, this one's just a little bit off for some reason. So we are going to uh, get some, I'm gonna get some self-tapping screws and I can tap it at the top and the bottom. And then once the bolt goes in the middle, it should be fine, so. But other than that, it actually went together pretty smoothly. So I still have doors to put on, rafters to put on, and of course the roof. But it's actually going together quite quite easily. And it actually looks pretty nice. I think it's gonna be a good way for the quail to be in here. But that should give me, you know, room to put quail on one side for eggs, quail on the other side for breeding, and grow up hen and all that stuff. So once we get power in here and power everything up, it should be pretty nice. All right, so with the exception of this one, at the top and the bottom, the exterior is done, with the exception of the rain gutters. Got the roof on. Have to finish the doors too, so. All in a good day's work. I mean, it's quite a few hours, but I wasn't in a hurry. I just took my time, and so it took a while. So I've got probably a couple more hours worth of work to do, but I think once I get lights, some cages will fit in here just fine, and I'll have plenty of room in here, and this will work, I think, no problem.
Thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers.